New at 11, the Florida Keys and Florida Bay are known as the sports fishing capital of the world, but a lack of fresh water is now threatening the bay. That's impacting the seagrass and the marine life that depends on it. Tonight, CBS 4's Ted Scouten finds out what's going to take to fix Florida Bay. Florida Bay is one of our most treasured waterways. Oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's known worldwide for incredible fishing and for its natural beauty, but there's potential trouble lurking under the water. When Hurricane Irma blew through, it hit Florida Bay hard. It was already recovering from a seagrass die-off in 2015 caused by hypersalinity in the water. It killed seagrass in a large area of the bay. You can't take in too much salt because your blood pressure goes up. Well, if you just keep consuming salt, you get to a point where you, you might have a heart attack and, and same thing happens out here. Too much salt, they just can't perform at a level that they need to and, and they die. Dr. Steve Davis is a senior ecologist from the Everglades Foundation. He tells us right now parts of Florida Bay have more salinity than the ocean. The cause, a lack of fresh water that should keep the bay brackish. When it's not getting enough fresh water and it's not getting uh, flushed well by the tides, then it just evaporates water. When water evaporates off the bay, the salt stays behind. That hypersalinity can cause seagrasses to die. That in turn takes away habitat that's needed for vibrant marine life. Capital Brett Greco leads fishing charters. He tells us healthy seagrass is critical. The seagrass is important for the fish. It's where they find their forage, all their feed. You know, you need that grass to have a healthy population of bait, shrimp, crabs, other bait fish. The solution is to get more fresh water into Florida Bay. That happens naturally with rain, and it should come naturally from the Everglades. But years of man-made obstacles have cut off much of that supply. We've got to turn on that spigot that gets more fresh water coming in so that we can help to, to flush out some of the salinity in these basins. Dr. Davis is thrilled with Everglades restoration projects, like elevating Tamiami Trail, allowing water to flow more freely. And there are ongoing projects supported by Governor Ron DeSantis like a reservoir south of Lake Okeechobee that would allow lake water to be filtered naturally and sent south to the Everglades and Florida Bay. And at the same time, those projects that send water south are also cutting those discharges that are unwanted to the Caloosahatchee and the St. Lucie rivers. It's always good to come back here and see this clean, clear water, turtles, dolphins, tarpon, bonefish. For now, Florida Bay is in a good recovery. What we're seeing is an intact, healthy seagrass community right here. Dr. Davis says it's just a matter of doing what we can to keep that recovery going. Experts say all the Everglades restoration projects that are on the books right now are going to do wonderful things for Florida Bay. The question is, when will they be completed? And in some cases, when will they begin? On Florida Bay, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News Tonight.